All right, coming in there now. Move this out of the way for just a second here. Getting into that jog. Get the jog, start to warm up the body. And there it is. Where's the button? I didn't turn the slide on. Okay, let me turn it on. <sighs> Much better. Looking into darkness. All right, so we're jogging it out right now. We're getting ready for this. We're going to work the chest and the triceps today. So I've got like the heavy heavies for the first move, the chest press. I'll push it hard on those. So I got 30 pounders for the chest press, so that's heavy for me. And then I've got 15 pounds for the chest flies that we'll be doing. Um, tricep extensions. I have both 12s and 10s. I don't know how I'm going to do those with the 12s. Or I just stick with the 10s for the tricep, the lying tricep extensions. So we're going to be up and over, extending it, and coming back again while we're lying. So that's why I'm not going to go with 12s. We'll see. Then we have, we have, we have, we have, we have cross raises. So for the cross raises, I'm using 12s for those on that one. And we have final move scarecrow arms into open in and out extensions. So scarecrow to in and out, scarecrow to in and out. So cardio, first one, we got 30 seconds, so we gotta get ready for it. We're gonna get down there, we're gonna get our chest presses in. Fast bicycles, and then we're gonna do get ups. Okay? And I'm gonna use a 15 pounder for the get ups, not the 30s. <sighs> but it takes a couple seconds more to get down there. So we get down to the first time around. Now, still only uh, 10 second transition, but I'm gonna get down there quickly. Ready for it? Three, two, one, press it. Keep their points over the chest. And focus on it. Come on. Just press it. Come on. Make it work. Three, two, one. Getting into fast bicycles. Put these out of the way just a little bit here and get the 15 ready. Into bicycles. So you could be doing this with the um, upper body if you really want to, but I'm just doing the lower body for the bicycles. Then we're gonna grab the 15 pounder. We're gonna get it holding it on one side, and then the next time we'll hold it on the other side. Come on. This one's on the mat. We're going to become standing up for the other cardios. Come on, ride that bike. All right, get ups. Get that weight. Hold it across your chest. Use your other hand if you need to to help yourself up. Otherwise, just get up. Three, two, one. Up and down. And up and down. Much down, up, down. Okay, let's go to the side, close to the side, grab in the 30s. And from the thoughts, I'll be down here for this. Push it up and down, up and down, up and down. After this, and then we do our get ups. We'll come into a jog. We'll go for the next hips. Down. We'll put both over here. So out of the way. And we'll ride that back. Right, right, right. <laughs> ride that back. Come on. Get it going. Get cardio with that, Sonia. 
It still gets my knee though, because the movement of it, I'm trying. Get up, hold the weight. Other hand this time, Rock, okay? Remember, use your other hand if you need to to help yourself up. All right, are we ready for him? Let's get that weight. Hold it up there. Two, one, get up. Roll it up. Roll it down. 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 Roll it up. And put it down. All right, moving that mat out of the way for a second here. Let's get into a jog or march. I actually need to march for a second here instead of jogging. The back of my knee tweaked out on that one. All right, jog march rest. Keep going over the next step. Round two. Lying tricep extensions. Touchdown. Side plank, hip dips. One side first round, other side second round. Okay. So, lying tricep extensions to start with. We'll move that back out of the way again. Okay. One. Come on down. I am going to try it with the 12s. Switch up to the tens if I need to. I'm trying to do the first round with the pose. Up, down, and up. Down and up. Don't get your ears. I like skull coasters, but they're lying extensions, same thing. Up and over there, come on, get them up there. All right, actually, those toes felt pretty good. I will use them again the next time around. Now, touchdowns. Ready. I'm not going as fast as me, actually. When I was doing those get ups, did not like it at all. And it's like tweaked up right now in the back. I need to actually pull out to this one when we're getting into the side plank extension. Look up for a second. All right, set it, side plank, hip dips. I need that. Hold on. Ah. All right, roll it over. Oh, no, I have some pair. Dip it down and up. We're gonna go back to the lying overhead extensions after this. More we're facing this way, maybe we'll do them on the side instead of the other side, huh? Let me do a review. Two, one. Could have done those hip dips with weight too, but I didn't grab it, so no weight for the next time around. Up they come. And back, up, back, up. Keep those arms up high. Back, up, back, up, back, up, back, up. Touchdowns are next. Come with the weights, putting them aside. Come all the way up, moving this, touch it down. Come on, And that 
Get ready for it. And then again for a second. Up we go. It's actually the phone I knew that was bugging me, but right now it's a twitch. In the back of my knee that's been flaring up from, I think, the, trying to not use the front so much. Okay. After this, we get into a little jog and go over round three. Come on, dip down and up. Hold that plank. Come on. Down it goes. It's all right, up we come. Into the jog. All right. This time it's going to be chest fly. Jog run with open shadows. We're going to do plank hip twist. Down there, hold the regular forearm plank, twist the hips side to side while we're doing it, okay? So, chest fly. I'm going to use the 15 pounders for that. One. All right. And you'd be at the very top of the mat for this. I hate to have room because the weight's over there. Open. Shut. Open. Shut. Open. Shut. Come on. Work it out. As a girl, you don't want huge chest muscles, but you want some. You know, like the definition. Looks real good. Up it comes. You gotta get into the jogging with open shoulders. Same way we were doing. Come on. Jog and open shot it. You can do this one too. Open shots without your arms curved if you want to. It makes it look like I just did half and half, right? Like hip twist. That's what's next. Come on down. Grab that mat all the way down. Turn the shoulders back and twist. Working, come on. We might do more of a further twist next time instead of this little pivot one. All right, down, back into the chest flies again. Up here, grab those weights. Come on down and open, shut. Open. Shut, open, shut, open, shut. One, put the weights aside this time. Get up in that jog. Open shot on this first. We're we'll curved again like the last one. Then we're going to straight armed again. Come on. We're going to do the hip twist planks. And then we'll come in and we'll turn around and go over the next one. It's time to twist it to, to do the hip tap. It's more than just a twist. Come all the way to one side, all the way to the other side, okay? Come on down there. Draw the shoulder back and side to side to side to side. Side to side to side to side. Side to side to side to side. 
going. Come on. 15 seconds. Right, Miss Ruth. No side obliques. No more. Tighten the core up. Up we come and into that jog. All right, up we come into that jog. Now, next series, we're doing cross raises. One side, other side. All right, then we're doing jacks. Um, so you can do regular jacks or step jacks, what I'll be doing. And then we're doing windmills for the core. So for the windmills, I'm gonna do, I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna do side to side or do all one side. But we gotta get ready for those cross raises. We do the 12s in stance, cross, raise it. I have to go like that. Actually, both sides at the same time. Pull it open. Open that chest up. Different angle. Come on. Bonus should get the shoulders into you. Come on. Jacks. After this, you get regular. I will be doing a step. Either way, one more time on this side. Down it goes. Bam. Regular or step jacks. Get in arm. Or you can jog in the jacks arms. Either way. I'm actually filming those. I'm going to do that more like standard. Except we're going to hold it. 10 pound weights for me. Should even go with the lighter one, but I can grab it. Wasn't thinking about it, so we'll try. First round with 10 pounds, I can drop it if I need to. Regular one of those, side to side. Of them. Bonus, these get the back of the legs too. Obliques, legs. I'm gonna start from the top again. After this, do this. Extensions. Down it goes. Grab the twelves. Extensions. Side to side. Starting on the side. Open. Open. Again. We got those windmills. With or without weight, your choice. I'm going to do it without. Try to come down for this time, okay? Really get the stretch to the side with each one of them and focus on tightening that core. One, out, and into it right away. Put the hand behind the leg. We get to jog after this one and go for our final round. Set the hand back and out. Halfway thrown. More than halfway now. Plus, we started early. If you started with me. Two, one. Jog it. 
All right, we're gonna our jog, run or rest. Whatever you do, we're gonna do the scarecrow move. So I'm using the 12 pounders. We're going to open it, open it. Um, actually, I'm gonna go for the 10 pounders because of the that one. Definitely use the 10 pounders, I'm not gonna do it. So it's gonna be 10 pounders for this next one. And the open the opens. And then we're gonna do in and out. It's same move, but in a jog. So we're doing weights, jog. Then we're doing side bends and back again, okay? All right, so grab the 10 pounders. Get ready for it. Up, close it. Open, close, open, close. Open, close, open, close. Open, close, open, close. Spent. Straight, bent, straight, bent. Let's well, straight as you can get it. Straight, bent, straight, bent, straight. Five more seconds. Bent and straight. And same move in a jog, but no weights. You do this after doing the weights, it's like, oh my gosh, burner. I'm gonna grab the 15 pound, no, the 10 to 12 pounders for the, for the side bends. each hand, all on one side though. Get down there. Side bend it down, come on. Keep it to the side, work that core, come on. Down hold, come up. Down hold, come up. We get some fast, some hold and up. Hold, activate, up. Hold, activate, up. One more. All right, getting those tens again. You gotta do the in outs. Scarecrow, regular. Ready, and in it. So live today, after we get done with our, after this we do our side plank holds. After this next round, how we're doing, same move. After this next one, we do a side plank hold on one side, switching halfway through to the other side. So we're gonna do that, and then we're gonna stretch it out, okay? Get in there and go through stretching series. Then, then we're going to, okay, this is what I'll cut off. Then we're going to do our planks, our squats, our half burpee squats. All right, side bends, other side. Grab those 12s, whatever you're using. Down and up. Get in them first. So, when we do the Plank, we're going to stay on half one side, I'm going to say flip. You're going to flip it to the other side and stay in there. Then we get to stretch. Then after that, it's done. The next video I have is the half burpee squats. I will pop, try to do a couple of jump ins. Hold it and up. Hold it and up. Hold it and up. Hold it and up. Do a couple more. Hold it and up. Flip, flip, flip. One more time. Up, okay, good job, down, come in the jog. All right, so this is this, we're gonna get into our side plank after this one, then we're gonna work through it, then we're gonna do, let's say, the squat, half burpees. 
I'm going to do a couple of them with the jump, but I'm mainly going to do them with step backs for me. But those will be next video. That's going to be a live one. All right. We're dropping it. We're getting into the side plank. Let's get ready for it now. Let's get it over there. All right. Good job. 10 seconds. It says we start. So let's come on down. So we have the transition. Up we come. Side plank, hold it. Activate that core. Push your hips up. You can lift your arm up if you want to. You can lift your leg up if you want to. Whatever you do on one side, though, you got to do on the other side. So I've started getting into that a few seconds after getting into it. We'll see. This is going to be the 30 seconds. We got to hold through the 10. So I'm going to drop it when we get to the 10. Dropping it. We got to hold for part of the next 30. And we're going to flip it through right after it starts, okay? Because I'm going to when we start going this one. So flip. We're up in it, holding it. Get that arm up there. Get that leg up there. Pull it back. Hold it. Actually, I think I was supposed to do 10 more seconds on that side. I flipped a little too soon, but we'll come back to it. Okay. Hold it through this one. Up in the air. Down. Keep it up. That was 10. That was 20. That was 20. 30. This will be 50 on this side. Hold it through this 10 and then flip it back to the other side. Ah, flip it back to the other side. Hold it up here for just a couple more seconds. And we're ready to stretch. You ready to stretch with me? I'm ready to stretch. Okay, come on back down. Push it up. Back to child's pose. Come forward with one leg. Go lunge it, pull it forward, twist into it. Back, pull that leg in, push back to pigeon, come on down. Mm. Come up, step back, lower down, push it up. One back, push back, child's pose again. Come on forward, low lunge the other side, pull it forward, the hand down, twist into it. Come on forward, pull that leg in, push those glutes back, roll it on down. It's 
Can one up. Put both legs back again. Push into it. This time we're going to scare curl one arm. Pull it open. Really open up that chest. Get that stretch in the chest and the shoulder. Okay. Come over to the opposite side. Scare curl in that arm. Do the knee. First, get the curve. Then pull the arm. Come on back and push it up. Work my way to the other side. Scarecrow that other arm. Roll into it. Open it up. That's really good for oh, stretching the stretch, chest out afterwards. Top of the plank, push back to downward dog. Lock it in, come all the way up, up and over. Other side. Pull it back. Back. All right, so this one was fun. Work through it. Tomorrow we get to work the back and the biceps. Oh, right now it's time to get ready for some half burpee squats. So this is checked out and done.